Hello. Um, just another quick morning message. Um, I I just wanted to quick quickly give uh, my condolences to the families that are going through it right now in the communities in the aftermath of the of the hurricane that happened September thirtieth. Um. Yeah, um, there's this guy, I'm gonna put the YouTube video in the comments. He put a great analysis with everything been going on and the real life of, the real lives of people who are going through this, this natural disaster. And, um, um, it's hard to hear that it, like, um... You know, with everything going on in the country, um, I don't want to cry, oh my god. Um, with everything going on in the country, you know, we don't know what these people have witnessed, we don't know what these people are going through, and FEMA hasn't done anything to help their own people, and... Um... I'm just thinking of, like... The people who are stuck, you know, and have no way out. And, yeah, like, um, you know, Kamala Harris and their administration are just, like, handing out $750. And we don't know if it's going to the people, you know. And and it's, it's like, painful um, to just watch. And that's why, you know, I want this organization to grow and to be the ones with the answer. And, you know, my, my dream was always to help people in any sort of way that I could, you know. Um, and to be humanitarian. And I don't care what your beliefs are. Just as long as you know there's a underlying issue with the system. And um, everything going on. And I hate being crybaby. But, like, with everything going on, it's so hard not to... Let it get to you. But, like I said, um, it's good to cry, but, like, for a different, you know, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just here. I don't want to, ugh. It's just so hard hearing the stories and hearing people's lives get destroyed again. You know, we had, you know, last year, the, the, the natural disaster in Hawaii, you know. Last year, the the... The people in East Palestine with the train derailment and and then you know we had this year with this um, natural disaster and these people from since last year haven't had any I want to see what's going on I want to see if they actually been helping them and what what they've been doing for what our government has been doing for them if there's is if it's even true what they're saying and it's like every time it's like lie after lie after lie and I'm tired I'm tired of being lied to like this and you know the only thing I could really say is that the only thing I could really say is this plain and simple is FEMA we're watching we're observing, we're seeing how cool you guys are, and we won't forget. We're not going to forget this. We're not going to forget what you guys done to our people, you know? If they're hurting, we're hurting. The whole country is hurting. And we're watching. Believe it or not, we're watching. And you guys try to hide it. You, The government, our government is trying to hide it. But we're watching. The whole world is watching. And guess what? We're 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 waking up. We're aware. We we know what's going on. We know that these emergencies, these FEMA that we put in money, our tax money, or whatever you want to call it, they're not they're not doing their job. They're not supporting the people. You know, um, it's gonna be our neighbors that we have to protect, you know, it's going to be 
you know, the people across the street, the people, you know, in their communities, we have to help. And like I said, I don't care what they're associated with. I don't care if they voted for Trump. I don't care if they voted for whoever they want. They're my neighbors. We have to help each other. And I, I feel like this really woken me up, uh, like, awareness-wise uh, with everything going on. And I hate being, like, like emotional, but it's so hard not being emotional and seeing the damage that they've done to people and having to start all over. It's hard to, you know, it's hard to live life just seeing what's going on in front of our eyeballs you know it's it's hard to to just ignore it you know and the thing is that you know it could happen in our own state you know something a natural disaster could happen anywhere and anytime and then we're looking and we're seeing that they're not doing anything for us they're not putting the money where we're supposed to be where it's supposed to be put in you know um but like i said we're looking we're we are observe absor observing and we will somehow get out of this um together and they're afraid of us and we have to prepare ourselves um as a as a country we do have to prepare ourselves um and like i said um you know, we, there's no money to be put in our own citizens, our own people. But there's money. There's billions, millions of dollars to be sent to Israel, to be sent to Ukraine, to be sent to other wars that are very unnecessary. Um, we're, we're just tired of it. We're, we're, we're tired. Um, the collapse is not going to be pretty, but that's what we need. We need to stand strong and be with each other and help one another whenever we can, however we can. We just have to figure out how to do it. Um, and this is why it's important to be involved in anything you guys could to help your community, you know. Um, uh, this is why CPI exists, because we want to thrive. We want to we wanna try to figure out what we could do to support the working class in America, you know, um, and we want to win, you know, I want to win, I want, I want our country and our economy to thrive, I want all of us to own homes, I want all of us to, you know, be good, I want all of us to be thriving in our country, I want everybody to blossom, you know, I want the next generation to blossom, I want you know, our children to blossom, but, you know, with everything going on, we'll, we'll just have to be strong and just hope for the best and um, just pray, 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 pray for our country right now because there's a lot going on and um, whatever happens, happens, whoever wins, wins, but like I said, we, CPI will be there to figure it out and to try to do the work that we have to do, the work that God has give, given me to try to help people. And I feel like, um, in a way, it's it's so rewarding just to try to get people going and understand the issues that we're going through. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna go get through it um, as a society as everything is going on. You know, I just, we just have to, we just have to have each other, like I always say, but anyways, I hate being like this, but it's, sometimes it's hard to keep yourself calm and collective, but like I said, everything's been so painfully to watch, everything's been so painful to see people go through it, and I'm just thinking of these people who are who are just surviving the natural disaster. FEMA not responding how they're supposed to be responding. Um, and I'll, I'll put in that guy's YouTube channel. If you guys want to watch it. It's like 36 minutes. You know. That guy has a great analysis. 
with everything. Her name is Yak Motley. And I'm so happy that he put that video. And um, we are going to grow. Whether they like it or not. We want growth. We want we want to thrive. We want pro-humanity. We're not going to eat bugs. I don't want us to eat bugs. But we got to win. And we got to put everything in it to win. You know, I want to win so bad. But it takes time, patience, you know. But we are going to win. And hopefully my next video is a little bit better. But it is what it is. Have a good one.